Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to Open Tech uh, Connection Summit 2021. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Charles Pelton from CIO.com uh, for the introduction and for helping us produce uh, today's event, uh, which we're sponsoring here from Open Text, and it's in collaboration with Supply Chain Now. We have a fantastic uh, day uh, put together. Um, uh, following my remarks today, you're going to you're going to see a short video, and then we'll hand it off to IDC and Simon Ellis uh, to continue the event. And then you're going to hear from Lyra Corporation, uh, Nestle, and Godiva, and have a great uh, Q and A session as well. And uh, the topic is all about uh, supply chains, and the issues have never been more complex than they are today. You know. Um, uh, for many of us, we're approaching our, our second year of uh, hybrid uh, slash remote work. And this volatility is going to continue. You know, as we were entering the fourth industrial revolution, I talked about three extremes. Extreme connectivity, extreme compute, extreme automation. But the other thing that's an extreme, uh, I believe, and it's, it's permanent now, is extreme uh, distribution. Uh, extreme federation and you know you know organizations that define themselves sort of you know in these centers and cores and command and control structures those structures don't work anymore if if our employees are going to be 70 80 percent um, remote uh, uh, distributed then it's the edges that shape uh, organization so it's going to be a lot of shape shifting going on um, that as we continue extreme connectivity, extreme automation, extreme compute, and extreme um, uh, distributedness of life and work and play. And um, that just leads into the issues have never been more complex. Uh, we see more and more natural disasters affecting supply chains. You look at the, um, the extreme cold and the weather outages in Texas uh, that affected uh, monomers, polymers, and, and um, uh, in energy uh, production, ransomware attacks, shutting down pipelines, um, uh, actually uh, the Suez Canal blockage, chip shortages. Uh, I hear companies speaking that this is going to be uh, lasting for um, two to three years. Of course, uh, COVID-19 and the health crisis that continues. In today's wave or today's phase of the pandemic, uh, Southeast Asia is extremely affected. India, Bangladesh, Cambodia, Indonesia, Vietnam, where many supply chains are, are located. Inflation, cost of transportation, a, a container cargo that would cost 5,000, now costs 20 to 25,000 if you can even get one. So it really speaks to the issues have never been more complex, but at the same time, well-run supply chains are making the winners of the future. So it's a very timely, um, it's very timely for all of us to get together and talk about connections in the supply chain of the future. Uh, I learned something very early in my supply chain career is at the end of every supply chain, there is a consumer. And at least we never forget this. It should be a poster up on, on our wall that at the end of every supply chain, there is a consumer. And just like as we're all experiencing um, with our colleagues, those who may work for us, our employees, um, our, 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 our valued contributors, expectations in the workforce are completely different today than they were two years ago. Expectations uh, uh, for, for our, from our consumers and there's one at the end of every supply chain, those expectations are completely different. They've never been more different uh, than they are today. And two things that stand out for me in terms of those expectations are um, the internet of me has finally really come to the forefront. Uh, it's all about me. It's all about personalization. It's about timeliness. It's about customization. Uh, it's about tailored and, and, and curated experiences. You should already know what I want before I ask for it. It needs to be presented in an easy to consume way. It's all about the internet of me. And I want it now. 
<laughs> now, now, now. I'm a nowist. I want it now. So as we put in perspective uh, today in our event today, I want to just remind us all that at the end of every supply chain, there is a consumer. And those expectations are so different today. And, and it's a long list of what, what's different in those expectations. I'm just calling out two elements. One is it's all about the internet of me. And it's about being a nowist, uh, which means I want it now. And those who kind of navigate towards that personalization and that immediate and, and that ability to deliver so timely um, will um, be rewarded. Uh, over time. Um, in a very timely way, I wanted to just highlight, um, and I think it's actually the best report that's at the, out there, not because IDC is with us today, I actually think it's the best report, and it's their futurescape of, of the world supply chain and 2021 predictions, or rather um, uh, kind of, you know, their sense of what are the top issues, what's the sequencing, um, what's the uh, what's the time? Uh, what's the kind of the timeline where these things, uh, the, these very relevant um, um, uh, aspects, will come to fruition? I really like this graph from IDC. I think just worthy to kind of look at it. It's sort of a timeline from today out through 2026, and it's sort of timing over 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 complexity, or timing over cost and complexity. And you can see a set of relevant issues. Um, a resilient supply chain. We, we Many of us know what that is. We're going to talk about that today from the open text product offering as well. Service bots, service innovation, sustainability, the ability to build ecosystems, a really important topic. I'm going to hit that in a moment. Freight networks, agility, visibility, and this notion of a control tower. So these are all very, very relevant topics um, within the supply chain. You know, a new model has uh, is emerging. When you, when you kind of backdrop the nexus of issues, you backdrop those predictions for the future, you backdrop the consumer expectation differences, uh, you have to really think different. You have to rethink the supply chain. And it's not a supply chain, right? Supply chains uh, by its nature directly infers something that's linear. Develop, plan, source, make, deliver, support. That's a chain, that's linear. We need to think logarithmically and we need to think in networks. So um, I think of the great work that we've done in our business network. I think of the great work that we're, we're doing, uh, everything from our IoT offering, our security offering, our trading community platform, our active applications, our, our invoicing, uh, our content management, all the things that surround our, our API into our APIs and our API integration uh, and service management, uh, ability to do mappings between systems, it looks much more like a network, a digital supply network, not a traditional supply chain. And that, that sort of enables synchronized planning, dynamic fulfillment. Um, obviously at the core of it is a digital core um, uh, and really building that factory of the future. And IoT is still in the very early days here, which will ultimately lead, ultimate lead, ultimately lead to the connected uh, customer. I wanted to touch base just in my introductory remarks, also around our top priorities at OpenText that you'll hear from the OpenText team today. And priority one is enabling digital first supply chains. You go back to uh, COVID, um, uh, 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 really uh, creating more regionalized supply chains. Uh, German car manuf uh, manufacturers don't want to be dependent on a country where they can't get goods. Canada doesn't want to be dependent on um, uh, not being able to do finished food products. The US wanting to make sure they have a complete supply chain to produce COVID vac uh, vaccinations. All that movement, is about digital first supply chains. Uh, make it digital, make it machine readable, automate it as much as you can. That's our number one priority in everything that we're doing in our business network today. Second is we operate at a global scale. It's no longer good enough to just act locally, right? You gotta think at a global scale. You gotta think of global taxation, global invoicing, 
global partners, global distribution, global transportation. You have to think on a global scale. Um, we could easily replace global with galactic if we wanted to, but we got to think on that global scale. Three, it's really important to speak about ecosystems. I know I called, out, called that out just a little earlier. We are working really hard to build these industry ecosystems, having a retail ecosystem in our supply chain, having all the top suppliers together, having them set up self-service, being able to transact with them, knowing their interfaces, their rules, their payment, their address, their goods, their product catalog. And, and, and if you're in um, um, a retail setting, you're able to connect into that ecosystem. So a pharmaceutical ecosystem, a biotech ecosystem, a retail ecosystem, a transportation ecosystem. Uh, you're going to hear from us just how focused we are on building scale and enabling ecosystems. Sustainability, it's early days. We added our first features in our trading grid um, platform where you can go in and look at a score for a trading partner to see where they are on their sustainability journey. And you can make a decision you know, based on that data. Do you want more information? Put it into the system, put it into the trading grid, um, or it meets a threshold and you want to transact. And uh, this is really important that it's not just how we do business, who we do business with, but how we conduct business. So you're going to see us stay uh, very focused on creating sustainability solutions um, uh, and doing that through our software. More and more visibility um, in the whole, you know, at the end of that supply, uh, supply network is a consumer and keep adding tools to provide uh, visibility from planning, forecasting, order, invoicing, uh, production, shipment, transportation, uh, in transit, receiving, and, and beyond. And then lastly, our top priority is to do everything self-service and reducing the time to add a, a partner, reducing the time to do an invoice, reducing the time to do a mapping, reducing the time to complete a transaction, and, and, and doing that all through software and self-service. So thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to kick off. I just want to talk a little bit about the, uh, the, the nexus of forces have never been greater in the industry today. You have so much to manage. Um, our priorities are very aligned to the future scape that's out there. And I hope you enjoy the brainstorming today um, with, our, with our partners. With that, let's go to video and then uh, over to uh, IDC.